is expected. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Here goes nothing. Kinspeople, Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravengard, thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him, Gortash. <sighs> this is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. The Tiefling is letting her passions get the better of her. The situation is delicate. Do not be swept up in her emotions. We bide our time, but make no mistake, that monkey is mine. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Karlak, come and say a proper hello. My respects? You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my beat up you! Ah, how I've missed your colorful turns of phrase. We must catch up, just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. As for you, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that netherstone that you carry. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well... Not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding, together we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gordash always did have an eye for opportunity. It's not, but it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Her assassins hunt you even now. They are very efficient killers. Even someone with your talents should take heed. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. She might be anywhere. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. 
so the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. Then let it be writ by the black hand of Bane. I, Lord Enver Gortash, swear I shall do you no harm. We will rise together over Toriel as a roaring sun. This isn't going to end well. Mark my words. I understand your concerns, my old friend. But allow me to demonstrate why you made the right choice. Let me demonstrate why you made the right choice. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A shapeshifter? It could be anyone. I mean, it's not me, but it could be anyone else. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is, where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers, when she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. Soon. First, come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Then we proceed. The Patriarchs await. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Mm -hmm. 
swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent? The council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the steel watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty handed. He looks the exact same as he did ten years ago. Fancy a coat, I suppose. <laughs> the Archduke of Baldur's Gate. What a sham. You don't really intend to be his ally, do you? Fair enough. Now that he's within reach, I don't intend to let him slip away. What do the people require? Such a heavy hand. I'm all for Gortash, but those clankers, they don't sit right with me. Because they do your job better than you and without complaining. It is unnerving. Imagine where we'd be without them. The city would be overrun. They're all that's keeping this cult at bay. He has a point. They make people feel safe, if nothing else. Ha! You hear this? Tell my friends how safe you feel with those metal giants stamping about. Hear that, Nop? Lord Gortash has them talking. A credit to our city's ingenuity. They're a true miracle of engineering. Ha! It'll be a miracle if they're still working in a tender. Lady Azure says the absolute art won't be called. Hmm. Master Porter, I've taken the liberty of. Oh, you are not the master. Just as well. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. But please, 